Hey, how you doing? You brewed some beer. Yay! Are you thinking about brewing some beer? Yay, yay! And you want to learn more, right? Now the goal here is fermented beer into bottle so you can drink that beer and it'll taste really good. It will taste good. You'll be totally fine with this. When I first started home brewing beer, I was always kind of sweating the details and I just finally realized I could relax and it'll be okay. So I want to take you today on a little bit of a trip. Five things that I've learned to make going from this to this to this a lot easier. Oh, that really, you can smell the hops. That's really cool. All right, ready? Here we go. Garden fork, making things, making food. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, put that, go over there and get your toy, okay? So the first one is brilliant to me because these are a pain to wash, right? You've got a bottle washer right here. It's your dishwasher, right, Charlie? This is actually a bottle washer and a sanitizer in one. We're gonna just fill this whole rack with bottles, run it on a short cycle, but be sure to have the heated dry turned on because that steams the bottles and sanitizes them. I didn't know this for a long time. Dishwasher is a bottle washer and that's a beautiful thing. By the way, if you're interested in building a butcher block kitchen island, um, I made a video about how I built this. The link will be in the show notes underneath, but bottles in, on, go. I know you're excited, but I have to brew the beer. I, I, I mean, I have to bottle the beer, okay? These sometimes can be really hard to get off, right? Your labels, because you're gonna recycle bottles to use for beer bottles. I have found that an oxygen cleanser, OxyClean, you know, they're all called Oxy something. A couple cups of this in a big trash can of warm water, soak these for a couple days, they'll come right off. Avoid foil labels. Um, I, there's certain beers that have a really shiny, fancy label. They're a pain to get off. They're just not worth the trouble. Some of them, like this Guinness one, is actually a shrink wrap plastic label. Careful, because you have a knife. This, comes off like that. Boom, done. One pint of water, four ounces of priming sugar. Let that heat up. Don't burn it, okay? All right, good to go. Bottling bucket. So our next step is put your priming sugar in the bottom of your bottling bucket. And that is a really cool smell. You're like, oh, that smells like beer. And you made it in your house. I love that. Super excited. By the way, when you're gonna move your fermentation bucket to do your bottling, move it the day before, put it where you're gonna bottle and let it settle again. So all the um, spent yeast and hops and everything are down at the bottom of the fermenter. This is my next tip. This is, um, I think it's called a bottling tube. I will look up the word but it has a little clip so this can go down and not hit the bottom of the bucket. It'll sit just above the bottom of the bucket. So this won't suck up all the sediment that's at the bottom of the bucket. Just, you can adjust by this clip how far down it goes on your bucket here, like that. Okay, my hand is on the end of the tube. We're filled with water. That goes in. That's quite a bit of length here. And then I'm gonna put that clip on. And that clip, I can adjust. Ooh, look, it's already draining. So I, I let my finger off here. Uh-oh, <laughs> sorry. All right, so this clip will allow me to adjust how far this tube goes into the bottom of the bucket. Let's put this in our bottling bucket. Hello, my little girl. How are you? You don't want to say hello? Uh, that would be a no, I guess. Okay. Okay, we're done here. We're done here. And my assistant is here. Hello. See, that's the spent sediment that we want to keep out of 
our bottling bucket here. Okay. Bottling tip has a little spring valve in it. Press it down, fills the bottle, let up, bottle stops filling, that is. Let me show you. Press this into your bottle, press the tip down, and that fills up. When you want to be done, you let that up. Press it down, fills up, let it up, it stops. That's nice. I mean, this is just one of those kind of moments where you made this thing. Oh, that's going to be good. Um, that's going to taste good in the bottle. It needs a little what's called conditioning in the bottle, but it'll... All right, next tip. Hello. I have to work right now, okay? It's kind of hard to say no to you. This is in the bottom of this. So you're drinking this. Ooh. And this you just throw back in your milk crate or your case or whatever, and then you gotta clean it like in a couple months, make some more, right? Here we go. If you rinse this out now, when you're done drinking, it's one less thing to do in your bottle. You know? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video right here. A bunch of how to homebrew stuff, how to bottle, how to make beer, hard cider, all sorts of cool stuff. Because I learned from you, I want to hear from you in the comments. Thanks. I'll see you.